Since class 6, we have been studying geography as a special subject. So far, we have studied various concepts, processes and features related to the four spheres of the earth. Year onwards, we'll study comparative geography by comparing Brazil with India and thus learn to apply geographical knowledge. There are many similarities and differences between Brazil and India. If we talk about the similarities, we can say both India and Brazil are developing countries. Both have a coastline. Both are the members of one international organization called BRICS. The full form of BRICS is Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. We've already studied this in class 9th. Both have democratic form of government. Now, if you talk about the differences, both the countries have different natural and cultural diversity. Both are situated in different hemispheres of the earth and are located in different continents of the earth. So let's move on to our second chapter in geography, location and extent. So, as I said before, we will compare India and Brazil with respect to the location and extent, historical background, neighboring countries, ocean and seas, their form of government and the different continents they lie in. This is the equator which divides the earth latitudinally in two hemispheres, the northern hemisphere which is above the equator and the southern hemisphere which is below the equator. This is the prime meridian which divides the earth into two equal halves longitudinally. The eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere. In this we will study the seven continents of the world and the location of Brazil and India. So this is the equator, the meridian. So if we see here, India is located in the northeastern hemisphere of the earth. Whereas Brazil is located in the western hemisphere. And we see here that some part of Brazil is located in the northwestern hemisphere and major part of Brazil is in the southwestern hemisphere of the earth. Now we will study the seven continents of the earth. This is North America. This is South America. Europe. Africa. Asia. Australia. And finally this is Antarctica. Now if you see here, India lies in the southern part of the Asian continent, whereas Brazil occupies the eastern part of the South American continent. Now I'll be providing you with the flag of a country and provide you with few clues to identify the country. The first clue is, it is the second largest populated country in the world. The second clue is, it is famous for spices in the world. The third clue is, cricket is a popular sport here. Yes, dear children, you're right. We are speaking about India. This is mainland of India. 
the latitudinal extent of mainland India is from 8 degree 4 minutes north to 37 degree 6 minutes north. The longitudinal extent of mainland India is 68 degree 7 minutes east to 97 degree 25 minutes east. This is the Tropic of Cancer. Situated in 23 and a half degree to the north of the equator. It passes through the middle of India, dividing it into two equal halves, the subtropical zone and the tropical zone. The Tropic of Cancer passes through eight states of Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Tripura and Mizoram. The southernmost tip of India is the Indira Point. It is located on 6 degree 45 minutes north latitude. The longitudinal extent of India is approximately 29 degree. As we know, 1 degree is equal to 4 minutes. Therefore, 29 degree is equal to 4 into 29 is equal to 116 minutes. That is approximately 2 hours. It means that if there is sunrise at 6 a.m. in Arunachal Pradesh, then in Gujarat, sunrise will occur at 8 a.m. Here we'll study the neighboring countries, seas and ocean of India. To the west of India, we have Pakistan and Afghanistan. To the north of India, we have China, Nepal and Bhutan. To the east of India, we have Bangladesh and Myanmar. To the south, we have Sri Lanka. The mainland of India is surrounded by water bodies on all three sides. This is Peninsula India which means an area of land surrounded by water on all three sides. So to the east of India, we have Bay of Bengal. To the west, we have the Arabian Sea. And to the south, we have Indian Ocean. On page 11 of your textbook, there is a table where we have to identify the countries and water bodies around India and complete the table. So I've completed this table for you. So the, this is the direction, neighboring countries, seas and oceans. To the east of India, as we've studied in the previous slide, we have Bangladesh and Myanmar. The sea that is covered to the east is Bay of Bengal. To the west, we have Pakistan and Afghanistan and the sea that covers the west is the Arabian Sea. To the north, we have China, Nepal and Bhutan. To the south, we have Sri Lanka and we have the Indian Ocean. Historical background of India. In our today's last slide, we'll study the historical background and some important points of India. India was ruled by the British for almost 150 years. It got independence in 1947. Name of the country is the Republic of India. Your Republic means form of a government in which the state is ruled by the representatives of the people. The capital of the country is New Delhi. It is a developing country. It is a global market. 
India has a federal parliamentary republic type of government. India is looked upon as a young country. Now this can come in your give reasons. Okay, so you can mention these following points. The only reason why India is called as a young country because the proportion of youth population in India is more and major part of this population is the working population.